Hey everyone, I finished my 2018 travel album where I went to Anaheim, California and Palm Springs um, almost a year ago in late August, early September. And I waited to make this album because I knew Allie would have um, travel products come out and I was really excited to take the travel product play workshop and so um, I decided to hold off on making this until um, though that class and those materials came out um, but I obviously went with the six by eight album um, this was a long trip I took a lot of pictures and so I knew the three by eight size wouldn't work for this um, documentation trip, but um, I generally really like working with that size. So I thought I would just give you a peek um, of some of the things I've been working on. So here's my title page. Now I did work mostly out of the main kit. You can see here, I put all of my supplies in this box. And when I worked on my album, which was on and off of working on different projects and project life, I would keep everything in here. And so I did get the main kit, um, but also like throughout the year, I had been pulling some things um, from like Studio Calico kits, um, from other story kits. I think I have some um, stories by the month pieces in here. Anything that looked, you know, tr was travel related or um, just kind of reminded me of California, sunny weather, right? All these different things I put in here. Um, I also pulled in some pieces from like the adventure story kit. Um, I also did get the transparencies and I'll show you in my album some different ways that I worked with these. I didn't keep them as the original size. I actually ended up cutting up most of them and using them in some different capacities. Um, the other thing I got also was the um, alphabet stamp set. Um, which I knew I would use, you know, in other pro projects. And so I picked this one up as well as the um, the numbers. But here's a look at my title page. So this is from the Adventure Story Kit. I did also work with some of the digital elements from the main kit. So I put that on in Photoshop, used a cork piece, put the dates below. I loved these banner strips that we got and I used those a lot. So um, on the back of my title page, I actually printed off um, a photo and this is outside of a page protector. So this ends up being about, I think seven by eight and a quarter um, that matches the page protector size. And so I printed this picture of a palm tree in Anaheim. So this I started in Anaheim and then later drove down to Palm Springs. So I had a conference actually in Anaheim, the National Sexual Assault Conference that I went to. So this was a palm tree outside of our hotel. And I'm a big fan of using all the pieces um, of a kit that we get. And so, and I know a lot of people have done this too, but this is um, the envelope that the main kit came in. And um, I loved it because it had all of the words that kind of matched my album. Um, on this. So I ended up cutting this up and using it in a variety of different ways. One it, run right here is an example of creating a pocket. So um, I, I waited to adhere these pictures back to back and I cut this down diagonally using the front of that folder and then I just stitched along the side and created this pocket. And I just stuck in here um, one of my boarding passes to Anaheim and then I ended up going through and, and creating an itinerary guide. And so um, on the front here, I did everything in Anaheim, which was mostly just the conference. And then on the last day, we did go to Disneyland. But what I liked here is that I put down the sessions that I attended because I attended some really cool outbreak sessions um, for some violence prevention work that I do. And so um, I was able to put all of that information down. And on the back side, I did Palm Springs. So pretty much all of the highlights, where we stopped, where we ate, kind of what we did. Um, and that was a really fun way to give like a snapshot of everything I did in Anaheim and everything I did in Palm Springs and then I just created a little tab here. This piece um, I think is from like a really old Amy Tangerine collection. I pretty much just pulled in, you know, a lot of different things here. And I saved a lot of ephemera um, from my trip. I actually will travel with an envelope, like old ones of these or, or what our story kits come in. And I'll actually pack that in my suitcase or my carry-on so I have a folder to collect all of the things um, that I'm saving from my trip. And so this actually was an insert that we got when we checked into the hotel for the conference. 
So um, the theme of this conference was called Bold Moves and it was ending sexual violence in one generation. So this was like an information sheet about the conference and so I used that to put a, a picture of us at the, at the hotel pool here and obviously added a lot of index tabs. Uh, this is a note from my partner. He, if we travel alone, we always kind of have a tradition of leaving a note in each other's suitcase. And so he left me one and I found that on the first night when I was unpacking. It's pretty adorable. So used a variety of different page protectors um, in this album. Um, this is the one that has the four, uh, three by four photos used. I loved these cards. Ended up using each one of the travel story one through five um, throughout the the album. It didn't have a rhyme or reason. It was just when I had a longer story that I wanted to tell, I, I included that card. Um, this was kind of a fun um, thing that I've, I've never really done before. But again, I was feeling really inspired after watching um, the product play classes and, and how the other creative team members kind of did different fold outs or pockets or, or ways to kind of interact with an album. And so on one of the nights after the conference, we went to what was called the Anaheim Packing House. Um, and it was actually a food hall where you could try different foods from like 26 different vendors, which I love because I like to try a lot of little things. And so this was a really fun way to sample um, some different things and it was delicious. And it was also just really aesthetically pleasing <laughs> this place so this is our table that had actually lemons on it and so I had all of our food out here so this is actually one of the add-ons it was the tags that you could get and I had the digital kit so I ended up just printing this off um, using again the the alphabet stamp that came in here and and journaling a little bit about that and then I put a photo on the back so um, I've ended up folding this um, so this is adhered on the back of the photo and I just kind of made a crease there to, to create a fold. But um, yeah, I had this old Kelly Perky stamp that said Instagram or it didn't happen. And here I am just like gleefully excited that this place was so beautiful. And of course I'm doing an Instagram post. And also I just, I didn't really care for the way the floor looked here. And I wanted to just make it, I don't know, just do a little something extra. And so I ended up cutting one of those transparencies, the geotag and, and putting that there. Um, so I really liked the way that turned out. Now. Because that, that paper, the photo paper is pretty thick, um, it doesn't stay down, so I did end up just taking a paper clip um, just to kind of keep that down as you flipped through the album. Another really special thing about this trip is that I got to meet my longtime internet friend, Amanda, who lives in LA, and so I told a little story about her meeting me for dinner and, and um, yeah, meeting internet friends in real life, which is super fun. Our hotel was actually across the street from Disneyland. So after the third day of our conference, which was just a half day, we ended up going to Disneyland. So super fun. I think this might have been from the Go Story Kit, a digital file that I cut out. A lot of large photos. Here's another example of a pocket that I created. So this was our pass to get in to Disneyland. And so um, I actually cut off the pocket for this and created, again, just another diagonal piece that kind of created um, a little pocket here, a little folder um, for the ticket. And then I used one of the Avery index tabs, but I cut it down so it was a little bit smaller. I didn't want it hanging off. And used those banners um, to go on the back here so you could kind of see those. And then this is a little chipboard piece from, I think, Week in the Life, but it was tickets, so it was perfect. Um, you know, I didn't do a lot of journaling about Disneyland. I did my favorite rides. I did some of my favorite photos, but not a long story. A lot of three by eight inserts. So conference is done, Anaheim is done, and we hopped in the car and we drove um, about 90 miles to Palm Springs, which has always been a dream of mine. This place has been on my bucket list forever. Um, so I was really excited that I got to go. And so did a little bit of journaling here about just driving on the California freeway and some of the pit stops that we made, one of which was um, this dinosaur stop um, just along, I think it was, um, yeah, Interstate 91. And so uh, this was just a super fun stop to like get out, take some pictures, stretch our feet, um, fill up our tank. And so I did a little, little insert about that. Of course, had to do a photo op. 
um, with the brontosaurus there. It's, it's Denny the dinosaur and um, T-Rex, Mr. Rex. And then here was the only place that I did a large photo that went all the way across. And I, I probably should have done more of this because I just love the way that this looks. Um, obviously, we stayed at the Saguaro Hotel, which is this beautiful rainbow hotel. It's so gorgeous. It's so fun, so bright. And so this made um, for a really great picture to do an enlarged one across the entire album. Absolutely loved the hexagons that came in the main kit. I, I used these on another spread. I love them. I used all of them. I found a nice bright alpha and then the Hello Hotel chipboard piece there was great. And this was the view from my balcony from my room. Super fun. And then um, again, yeah, here, here I am from my balcony kind of looking down at the pool right when we got there. Saved some pieces um, from the light story kit. Um, which came out right around the time when I got back from my trip and I have saved that for a whole year just waiting to use that. I know you guys do the same thing. Um, so I was super excited to put that on here and then I talked a little bit about the hotel um, and our stay and just how much of a dream come true that it was. So again, this is from the digital kit, printed that off, just did kind of side by side. The photo's a little bit larger than halfway and then took that transparency and cut a circle here and then stitched um, the cork heart over it. I did use the two by two squares. Again, I was inspired by watching Allie put together her album with her boarding passes. I obviously didn't have as many, it wasn't that big of a trip, but I put those in and then just put a few other things. A lot of this is stuff that I grabbed from the trip. Like this is um, the soap container um, that came uh, in our hotel at the Saguaro. So, excuse me, I saved that. And, um, this was from a postcard that I picked up and then just a few other, other elements from like Studio Calico and stuff that I've saved for a long time and some pictures. More stuff from uh, the Light Story Kit, um, uh, wood veneer pieces that came in Story Kits, just random things, bright. Um, talked a little bit about what restaurants we went to. So we did go to Cheeky's for brunch. We had a bacon flight. So of course I had to put all of the different types we had here and rank them from my favorite to least favorite. There was not a bad piece of bacon there though, I will tell you that. <laughs> Pictures from our hotel, which I love. Um, we ended up going to the Ace Hotel to have dinner one night at the King's Highway, I think that's what it's called. Um, and so we, I obviously did the photo booth, which I always do. Um, so here was another example of like, okay, wh what could I make to hold my photo strip here? So I had more um, left over from my envelope, so I created another pocket just behind some pattern paper. These are some Studio Calico tabs, and that just slips right in there, and I, I think that's pretty fun. And then just stitch some stuff on the back. Okay, um, I shared this on my Instagram, so you might have seen this, but one of the things that I brought back with me was a bag from Norma's Cafe. So Norma's Cafe is at the Parker Hotel, which is also another super gorgeous hotel um, in Palm Springs. And I brought this bag back because I had some leftovers um, from our brunch. And so again, just folded this up, put it in my envelope. I knew I would use this. So um, I actually removed the handle and just cut off the front here. And I created a layout on the back of this bag um, from our dining experience at Norma. So this is a place where I use the majority of the hexagons. Um, I'll show you here. I ended up stamping Norma's on one and it just kind of barely um, fit here. Piece of chipboard and then I cut out the hexagon shape with some other pattern papers. I did end up covering this with Best Meal and talked about what I got. And then I cut off the bottom here and I ended up using that in a different layout. Um, and I just really, really love the way this turned out and a kind of a fun way to use the bag that I brought back. Then just put a little Instax photo on the back here of the sun that's in the cafe and, and put the date. I took a lot of Instax, photo, Instax photos. I didn't end up using them all. Um, I actually still have like some of these in my, in my um, box here, but I, in, I, I always try to brainstorm different ways that I can creatively use photos, the Instax photos in my album. Um, and so actually here I created a flip up book. Now, um, some of you might remember my walkthrough video of my album that I did when I went to Story Camp. 
and San Francisco, I ended up taking a lot of Instax photos in San Francisco and this was a way I took a page protector didn't put anything in the back you could also do this with like a piece of you know plastic that Allie sometimes uses um, but I adhered the photos back to back and then I just stitched on top and added some phrase stickers so that was one way that I used it but I knew I wanted to try and get creative um, with this album so what I did here is I created a little flip up of some of my favorite photos from the windmills to the Ace Hotel to me on my balcony. Um, and so I created this here and put this banner here. It says, let's go. I think that might've been from the, the previous travel collection, but this just slides up and down and it's a great way to see all of those different photos. And I think that turned out really cute. And then I put that back on the back of um, a Studio Calico card. Here's a six by eight photo of me at the Parker Hotel right after we had Norma's and it was delicious. This is a layout I created um, actually back when the um, Relax Story Kit came out. Was it Relax? I think so. Um, anyways, I loved this kit and um, I knew with the yellows in the kit, I could um, make this layout. So I actually created this like last year and just put it in this album or put it aside until um, I made the rest of it, which I don't know if other people do that, but um, you know, it was just fun to kind of scrapbook this last year and then look back on some of the journaling that I did here. So using the digital card, I made this larger, larger in Photoshop. Um, I knew I was gonna put the Instax here of us laying by the pool and then I journaled around it. This is a transparency piece of vellum. Um, I, I put the heart that came in the kit here, piece of chipboard and stamped, and then a larger um, photo here. And the main thing that I loved about this kit was the transparent stickers that they had. So this says, take time to do what makes your soul happy, which was super fun. Another one of those travel story cards, I talked about some of the architecture in Palm Springs. Um, actually, I did this layout for the design story kit. So another example of something I made a while ago back in March and just kept aside until I could put it in my album. So um, I, what I loved about this kit also, the yellows, the reds, I knew this would go really well with this photo. And one of the things that we got in this kit were these half circles. And so I actually printed off a photo to make a complete circle and then did my journaling about the windmill farm. Um, and making that one of our stops when we were in Palm Springs. And then that flips out, um, and that was one of the, the cards as well. Put a full photo on the back. We went to this botanical garden to look at all the cacti, and this was a super, super cool thing to see. I cut up one of the cards, just cut that out by hand. And then my last page is talking about our last day, we had a late flight out of Palm Springs, and so we still had some time to be by the pool. We went to Great Shakes. This was delicious. Um, and then I talked a little bit about how much I love this vacation. You know, it checked off a lot of my boxes on my bucket list, but how excited I was to, to come home and see Mark and the kitties. Um, here, and I looked... It kind of came loose, so I'm gonna have to find a different way to adhere this. But I still had some um, ephemera that I didn't end up using in the album, which I know in the in the class they tell you like don't feel pressure to use every single thing. So again, some of the instax that didn't make it on that flip up book are tickets, picture that I printed and didn't end up using, postcards I loved, um, the card from Amanda. Uh, so yeah, I want to. I wanna hang on to this, but I couldn't find a way to work it into my album, so I ended up just putting the rest of that stuff in one of um, the old story kit envelopes, and then I'm gonna paste that here. I'll have to find some different adhesive. Maybe I'll use my, my red line tape or something, but yeah, that's my album. I don't know about you, but travel documentation is my absolute favorite thing to scrapbook, and just how amazing this vacation was and all of the pictures we took, it was really fun to document. So thanks for looking.